Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. This is the first paycheck of May. I cannot believe how quickly the year is going by, but I wanted to give you a quick overview of what our paycheck budget looks like. So I did receive my part-time pay this Friday and then my husband also received his income for from his company. So this is the starting balance that we are working with. This is after we've already set money aside for tithe and then we just have to focus on paying our bills, our variable expenses, and then saving as well. So you can take a look at this and see how I break things up. Fixed expenses, this is again just for the paycheck. It is not for the entire month. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about that. So this is what the total fixed expenses is $560.79 and our variable spending is $250. That includes my husband's spending, eating out, he's, his responsibilities, and then what I'm responsible for is getting groceries and then any other random things. For our home savings, we are allocating $384.14 and also I noticed that um, one of my bills was less, so we actually allocated a little bit more. I'm gonna say it was an extra $15 that we were able to save. So I'll be updating my goal tracker planner, which is this one over here. We'll be highlighting some of these boxes. So now let me flip over to our paycheck denomination breakdown. And by the way, this planner is from the Elevated Life Co. This is what I've been using since the beginning of the year to break down our budget and tracking our spending and everything like that. So it's linked in my description box in case you're interested in getting yourself one because it is undated. Um, so you can start anytime whenever you get this and then just mark in whatever date it is at that point. So this is what we had withdrawn, $255 what I do is I break down like sorry if you hear the dryer <laughs> by the way it's kind of loud but I don't know it like echoes so I apologize this is the only time I could film this um, anyways I transfer over this information to my cash breakdown sheet and this I have linked as well with a, a coupon code if you guys are wanting to purchase that before we get into stuffing for the current week we have to see well, how did we do the prior week? Let's look at my one cash envelope and then I'll get back to stuffing our cash envelopes in just a minute. So this is the one cash envelope. And as you can see here, I have it broken down by the weeks because if you focus on just a week worth of budgeting, it makes it less stressful for me. I can track it better. So right now I have, based on this, $17.29 from the prior week. So I budget groceries and I budget other. Now grocery, obviously it's self-explanatory, food, purchases, any household items, that is what I include under grocery. That's a weekly budget. So you're only focusing on like the six or seven days. And then this was my budgeted amount for other. Other is if there's purchases that happen a little bit more than the groceries, wanting to eat out, wanting to buy myself makeup or whatever. That's what this is for. So I have $17.29 at the end of the week. So I have my bills in here. And then I have my change in my little wallet. So let's just get that out. Sometimes change falls in my car, so it might not be exact, but that's okay. So I have 60 cents in my wallet. And then let's see what we have. 5, 10, 15, and 16. So $16 and 60 cents is what I have. There might be something that I was missing. Oh, the 33 cents that I spent at CVS. That's probably what it was that I didn't allocate. So 17.29 minus, I think it was 33. Yeah, so 16, and yeah, I'm missing some change, but that's okay. So we have $16 left, and what I do with my leftover money is I allocate this to my savings challenge. So I'm gonna move this aside, and so I have this box here that has 100 envelopes, and it's the 50-50 challenge. So you label envelopes one through 50 and then the other set one through 50. 
So then when you pick uh, envelope, that's the number that you will be saving. So how I am doing it is whatever I don't spend, whatever money I don't spend from the prior week, I'll just choose a number that matches that. So in this case, it's $16. I'm gonna take $16 envelope and then put that money there. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. So we're gonna grab the number 16 envelope and then we're gonna go ahead and stuff that in here. And all of this is going to home savings, by the way. And then I'll go ahead and I'll highlight that and this just is for tracking purposes. I'll do that in just a minute because I have to film a reel on this. So it's really nice um, and it's fun to do it that way. And then the coin, I'm just gonna put it in my coin jug over here. So this says I have 4406. And now I have 4466. So now let's get to stuffing our cash envelopes. So this week we are budgeting out $75 for groceries. And then for other, it's gonna be $30. So let's count out our cash that we withdrew. Should be 255, and I broke it down based on the denominations. So there should be seven $5 bills. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven $5 bills, which is great. And then we should have four tens. One, two, three, four. Four twenties, one, two, three, and four. And then two fifties. Actually move this aside. All right, so that's great. Now we can go ahead and stuff our one variable envelope. So it's gonna get 50, 70, and five for groceries. And then $30 for other. This is literally all that I do and I carry this in my purse and I track whenever I purchase something kind of like a checkbook register. It just works for us. I really love it because of the simplicity of it. So this is going to go aside into my purse and this is my sinking funds binder. Now let me explain how I use my sinking funds binder. I do cash stuff, but once any one given category reaches $100, I will then deposit that money into my bank to earn interest. So I do not carry this with me out of the house unless I'm going to make a purchase that I know of, but this gets kept in my safe. I just wanna make that clear I know I've had some people like be concerned or question why I have this. It's just visually seeing the cash for me and for, for us here, it allows us to save more than if we just do a quick transfer in the account, in a savings account. We don't feel like we are actually saving. I don't know, it's a psychological thing or I don't know. <laughs> but it just works for us. We save more and we're more intentional when we do it this way. So it's just a personal preference. Do whatever works for you. That's what I always recommend. Beauty, we are going to add $5 into Beauty. So it's just gonna get a $5 bill. So Beauty now has 20, 30, 35. Blessing, we are planning on donating to a charity that we're, oop, it's getting $10, not five. Uh, it is a charity that our church has recommended and talked about, and um, we donated it last month to this um, organization. It's called Choices Women's Clinic, and it helps educate women, and it's really a ministry to like prevent women to get abortions and I know this is kind of a sensitive topic especially with how the world is now but I have my personal beliefs on this do not come for me in the comments um, I am not one to argue about politics about anything like that controversial issues I just I try to avoid all of that 
but if there's an organization that stands by beliefs of mine, I will 100% support them. They're a Christian organization, and I just love that they have helped women like make wise decisions when it comes to childbirth, adoption, and really saving the child's life that is unborn. So I love that, and we have donated to them, and I plan on donating to them. Um, again, that's one of the causes that I I love. So we now have 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 in blessing. Pets is going to get a $5 bill. We have to build this back up because <laughs> we've used that. Anniversary is going to get $35. You guys, our anniversary is coming up in September. Uh, we're celebrating 10 years married. I cannot believe that it has been a decade, right? It, that's, that's crazy to me. Um, we've definitely gone through struggles. We, especially this past year, I'm going to be just very honest. It has been a very challenging time, but through the challenge we are able to grow as individuals and as a married couple and there's been a lot of couples that have for some reason made their way to get in contact with me whether it be at work or in other places and um, these women have been going through struggles and, and trials and I've been able to share things that we are doing right now you know getting counseling, um, praying, kind of trying to make it work because marriage is not a piece of cake, you know. It takes work, it takes effort on both parties, on both sides. And um, we are definitely, had gone, are, are still going through tough times, tough situations, growing pains, but we are making it an effort to focus on our marriage and it's tough but with God in the center anything is possible anything is possible so we have faith in him and yeah I just kind of wanted to talk about that because things may seem one way on social media but people don't see the whole picture people don't see the behind the scenes of what a uh, individual or family is dealing with and social media can be really fake and obviously you only want to share the good things but what about the tough things what about how is it that you have overcome something and so d don't ever think that stuff that I post or other people post oh that their life is just great and they have it all together because nine times out of ten <laughs> They don't, you know, they're, we're human. Um, people make mistakes. People go through hard situations and it's not all butterflies and roses and rainbows. And yeah, it's just, that's not, <laughs> that's not the case. All right, get, getting back to this anniversary, we have $300 in our online bank. So that represents the money in the bank. And we have so 300, 320, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. So 353 is what is in anniversary. Budget essentials is not getting anything. Car, I think we are stuffing car. It's getting five dollars. So she's gonna get a five dollar bill. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. I actually have to get an oil change, so I should schedule that. I don't know how much it costs though. <laughs> um, Christmas, we are going to stuff $10. So it has 100, 150, 170, 180. Christmas might be a little bit different this upcoming year. Family is gonna be coming in town, so that's gonna be exciting. Nothing for my husband's birthday. Fun is going to get. $75. Oh, how is this when I'm doing this? We have to book a trip, a flight for one of our friend's wedding, and that's going to be really exciting. So fun is for any outings, any like trips, things like that. 
50, 70, 90, 100, 105. So there's that. Gifts is going to get the last $5 bill. So gifts has 100 in the bank. So 120, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 139 for gifts. All right, so that is everything for the cash stuffing. Very simple, very straight to the point. And this is gonna go in my safe along with my savings challenge envelope i actually will be unstuffing and counting out how much we have saved thus far and i'll deposit that in the bank i know i mentioned that in the last video but we're actually gonna make it happen i hope you guys enjoyed um, i hope that this just inspires you to get on a written budget and do it in a way that makes sense to you and your family it doesn't have to be complicated just do it simply and effectively <laughs> and just fun for you guys. So that's everything and I'll see you guys right here in a brand new video. Bye guys.